Hello and welcome to Quality Health TV. Did you know that nearly 1 billion people worldwide are deficient in what's called the sunshine vitamin? Yes, we're talking about vitamin D. Vitamin D, often referred to as the sunshine vitamin, is a unique nutrient. A vitamin, yes, but also a hormone. Our bodies can produce it when our skin is exposed to sunlight, specifically ultraviolet B rays. With the right amount of sunlight, our skin can generate a good portion of the vitamin D we need. It's also found in certain foods like fatty fish and fortified dairy products, though it's very difficult to get enough from diet alone. But here's where the mystery begins. Despite the sun being a universal source of life, and the fact that our bodies have this incredible ability to produce vitamin D, deficiency in this vitamin is surprisingly common. In fact, it's one of the most common nutritional deficiencies in the world affecting an estimated 1 billion people. That's about 1 in 7 people worldwide. So why is this happening? Well, there are a few factors at play. For one, modern indoor lifestyles often limit our exposure to the sun. Let's face it, many of us spend more time under artificial light than under the sun. Plus, living in higher latitudes where the sun's rays are weaker, or having darker skin that requires more sun exposure to produce vitamin D can also contribute to deficiency. Additionally, certain medical conditions can affect how our bodies absorb or convert vitamin D. And as we age, our skin's ability to produce vitamin D declines. All these factors combined mean that vitamin D deficiency is a widespread issue, transcending age, geographic location, and lifestyle. So we see that vitamin D deficiency is a worldwide issue, but what exactly does this mean for our health? We'll delve deeper into that in the next scene. But for now, let's acknowledge that vitamin D plays a vital role in our overall health, influencing everything from our bone density to our mood, immune function, and even our risk of certain cancers. So, understanding this sunshine vitamin mystery is crucial for our well-being. Stay tuned as we unravel this enigma. Before we delve into the invisible enemy that is vitamin D deficiency, let's take a moment to understand how our lifestyle and diet can be silent assassins, quietly robbing us of this essential nutrient. As we mentioned earlier, our modern indoor-oriented lifestyle is a significant factor. Long hours spent indoors away from the sunlight can drastically reduce our body's vitamin D production. Additionally, living in regions with limited sunlight, especially during winter months, can also contribute to a deficiency. Now let's talk about diet. A balanced diet is key to maintaining good health, but when it comes to vitamin D, there are only a few foods that naturally contain it. These include fatty fish like salmon and mackerel, beef liver, cheese, and egg yolks. If you're vegetarian, vegan, or simply don't consume these foods regularly, you might be at a higher risk of vitamin D deficiency. Furthermore, certain medical conditions such as Crohn's disease, celiac disease, and kidney diseases can affect your body's ability to absorb or convert vitamin D, leading to deficiency. It's important to note that these factors can act like shadowy assassins, subtly affecting your vitamin D levels without showing any immediate noticeable symptoms. But as we move forward, we'll see how this silent deficiency can lead to serious health problems. Remember, knowledge is power. By understanding these factors, we can take steps to mitigate the risk and ensure we're getting enough of this sunshine vitamin. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the invisible enemy that is vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D deficiency can be an invisible enemy, silently affecting your health without you even knowing it. This deficiency is more common than you might think and it's caused by a variety of factors. Let's delve into these causes and the effects they can have on your body. First up, sunlight or more specifically the lack of it. Vitamin D is often called the sunshine vitamin because our skin produces it when exposed to sunlight. So when you're spending too much time indoors or living in a place where sunshine is a rare visitor, your body might not be getting enough vitamin D. Next, let's talk about dietary habits. Vitamin D is found in a limited number of foods, mostly in fatty fish like salmon and mackerel, beef liver, cheese, and egg yolks. If your diet excludes these foods or is low in fat, you might be missing out on this essential nutrient. Certain medical conditions can also lead to vitamin D deficiency. Diseases that affect your ability to absorb nutrients like Crohn's disease, celiac disease, and kidney diseases can result in lower levels of vitamin D. So, what happens when your body doesn't have enough vitamin D? Well, the symptoms can be subtle yet damaging. You might feel fatigued or often get sick, experience bone and back pain, or have depressive moods. In the long run, vitamin D deficiency can lead to bone abnormalities such as soft bones or fragile, misshapen bones. But here is where it gets tricky. 
Many people with vitamin D deficiency may not realize they're deficient because the symptoms are often overlooked or attributed to other causes. It's like having an invisible enemy inside you, quietly chipping away at your health. That's right, vitamin D deficiency can lead to some serious health problems. But how do you know if you're deficient? Diagnosing vitamin D deficiency isn't as simple as feeling a little under the weather. It's a bit more complex and it's often overlooked. The key to uncovering this deficiency lies in a simple blood test. This test measures the level of 25 hydroxyvitamin D in your blood, the most accurate way to measure how much vitamin D is in your body. But here's the thing, you might not think to ask for this test unless you're feeling persistently tired or you're experiencing unexplainable aches and pains. That's why regular checkups are so critical. They're your first line of defense against silent invaders like vitamin D deficiency. Beyond checkups, you can also pay attention to your own body. Are you feeling fatigued, experiencing muscle weakness? These could be subtle signs that your body needs more of this vital nutrient. Now that we know how to diagnose this deficiency, let's explore some natural ways to prevent and treat it. Mother Nature has provided us with plenty of natural sources to help battle vitamin D deficiency. And what could be more natural than the sun in the sea? The sun, our closest star, is a potent source of vitamin D. When our skin is exposed to sunlight, it triggers the body to produce this essential nutrient. But here's a crucial point. Not all sunlight is created equal. The time of day, season, latitude, and your skin pigmentation can all influence vitamin D production. Ideally, you'd want to soak up the sun between 10 in the morning and 2 in the afternoon when the sun is at its highest. But remember, moderation is key. Overexposure to sunlight can lead to skin damage and increase the risk of skin cancer. So aim for around 15 to 30 minutes of midday sun exposure a few times a week and don't forget your sunscreen. Now, let's dive into the sea, metaphorically of course. The sea offers us a bounty of vitamin D-rich foods, particularly fatty fish and seafood. Salmon, mackerel, and tuna are fantastic sources. Just a half filet of salmon can provide you with more than your daily recommended intake. Sardines, shrimp, and oysters are also on the menu, all packed with vitamin D. And let's not forget cod liver oil, a supplement many of us may remember from our childhood. It's a powerhouse of vitamin D, and while it might not be the tastiest, it's certainly effective. Incorporating these foods into your diet coupled with safe sunbathing practices can significantly boost your vitamin D levels. And the best part is you'll be doing it naturally just as Mother Nature intended. So a little sun and a taste of the sea can go a long way in keeping your vitamin D levels up, but what if you're not a fan of fish? Don't worry, if seafood isn't your thing, there are still plenty of ways to get your vitamin D. You might be surprised to learn that vitamin D is closer than you think. It's not only found in the sun and the sea, but it's also right there on your dinner plate. Many common foods are fortified with vitamin D, meaning it's been added in during processing. Think about your everyday staples like milk, orange juice, and cereals. But what if you're vegan or lactose intolerant? No worries. Certain types of mushrooms are also a rich source of vitamin D. When exposed to ultraviolet light, these fungi produce vitamin D just like our skin does. So, your next mushroom stir-fry or mushroom-topped pizza could be a delicious way to up your vitamin D intake. Now let's talk about vitamin D supplements. They're a convenient option, especially during those winter months when sunlight is scarce, but remember, supplements are not a substitute for a healthy diet and lifestyle. They're a supplement, an addition, not a replacement. It's also crucial to remember that more isn't always better. Vitamin D is fat-soluble, meaning your body stores what it doesn't use. Excessive amounts can build up in your body and cause harm. That's why it's essential to consult with a healthcare provider before starting any supplement regimen. They can guide you on the right dosage based on your individual needs. Remember, a balanced diet, a bit of sunlight, and regular checkups are key to preventing vitamin D deficiency. Now it's your turn to share your thoughts. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more health insights. And feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments section. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, stay healthy.